Welcome to Radial Dynamics. I'm Eric Amato, and today we're going to take a look at what makes a good fluid reservoir. Now, in power steering systems, especially full hydro and hydro assist applications, the reservoir tends to be the most overlooked component in the steering system, even though it has the biggest influence over the performance and longevity of your steering pump. Today, I'm going to do a demonstration showing you exactly what happens inside of my patented Vortex Reservoir using this clear acrylic model, which is actually my original proof of concept prototype. But before we get into the demo, first we have to understand what function a reservoir plays in a hydraulic system. Most people tend to just think of a reservoir as a small canister that holds a little extra fluid, and that's true. But it has to provide room for thermal expansion, and especially if you're running a single-ended hydraulic cylinder, every time you turn left and right, the displacement of the shaft is going to cause the fill level to rise and fall. So we have some makeup volume there that is just needed in the system. But beyond that, a good fluid reservoir should circulate 100% of the volume internally, because power steering pumps consume a lot of energy that needs to be absorbed and dissipated. So the more oil that we can get into circulation, the better off we'll be. A good reservoir also needs to provide an ideal pump inlet condition. So with off-road vehicles operating at extreme off-camber angles or maybe bouncing down bumpy trails where the fluid starts sloshing around, we want to make sure that we prevent any air from getting pulled into the pump. And then finally, and most importantly, a good reservoir needs to be able to effectively remove air bubbles from steering fluid. And this is the point that I want to touch on the most today, because if you've ever experienced a whining steering pump and you've opened up your reservoir to find either a milkshake consistency or some heavy foam, you've probably noticed that in about two minutes time, the oil returns back to a clear state. This is because it takes about two minutes for small, tiny air bubbles to work their way out of hydraulic oil. And this is the reason that industrial reservoirs are typically sized to hold two minutes worth of fluid. But two minutes worth of fluid isn't practical in a buggy. Even if you have a modest five gallon per minute steering pump, that would mean a 10 gallon reservoir, and that's simply not practical. Now, in a typical power steering system, we're generally going to be looking at anywhere from 5 to maybe 20 seconds at best that fluid will spend in the reservoir every time it passes through the hydraulic circuit, and this isn't enough time to release air from the fluid. This is where the Vortex Reservoir comes in because it's the only reservoir on the market that forcibly separates and removes air from steering fluid while performing all of the other necessary functions that a good steering reservoir should do. So what I'm going to do now is fill this clear reservoir with water. I'm going to hook it up to a centrifugal pump. And when I open up my control valve, I'm going to be forcing the pump to cavitate and producing a really worst case scenario operating condition. So we're gonna see exactly how this responds. Let's get started.
So thanks for checking out this demonstration of the patented Radial Dynamics Vortex Reservoir. It's available in a wide range of sizes, so whether you're building a lightweight trail buggy or the world's biggest monster truck, I've got a reservoir for you. And until next time, thanks for tuning in.